With almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see Intelligent Internet of Things, Google Cloud's IoT vision, then stay tuned, because here's the rewind. By now you've probably heard, IoT is a big deal. Last year, the number of connected devices passed the population of the planet. This year, it's forecasted to be up 27% over last year. If these trends continue, by 2025, IoT Worldwide will be generating 40 zettabytes of data. What's a zettabyte? It's a billion terabytes. So while IoT is awesome, it's becoming increasingly clear that IoT on its own isn't the be-all, end-all. We need smarts, we need infrastructure around all this IoT data in order to pull value out of this glut that we've got. This is where Google steps in. As an industry leader in artificial intelligence and machine learning, we have the platform to make sense of this mountain of data. While there's no agreement on hardware, protocols, technology stacks, we see some common themes around IoT that we're going to be pursuing through this year and into the next. I want to touch on a couple. The big announcement from Cloud Next is that we've developed a new product that will push the boundaries of putting that intelligence everywhere. Cloud IoT Edge extends Google Cloud's powerful data processing and machine learning to billions of Edge devices, such as robotic arms, wind turbines, oil rigs, smart cars, cameras, so they can all act on the data from their sensors in real time and predict outcomes locally. We didn't stop at developing this awesome runtime, though. We also announced our Edge TPU, Google's purpose-built hardware accelerator chip that enables lightning speed inferences on the Edge. All this running on a secure and managed operating system, Android Things, and soon on Linux OS as well. We're making our cloud IoT platform serverless by design so that you can go from proof to concept with hundreds of devices to productions with millions of devices in days while keeping it entirely modular. Cloud IoT Core, our IoT gateway, is critical here. To touch on just a couple of things with IoT Core, provisioning. Millions of devices can be connected to Cloud IoT Core with zero provisioning operations. We're working with select secure element vendors to make this possible. High speed, scalable messaging. It will make control scenarios much easier where you want to be able to directly influence the state of your devices from the cloud. Support for gateway devices to represent a multitude of less powerful or less secure on-premise sensors. All these features being added to IoT Core represent a more robust scaling. We've already in past conversations talked quite a bit about how Google's infrastructure is built for security from the ground up. IoT Core has continued that trend with solid security in place using TLS to encrypt communication and JSON web tokens for authentication. I want to call out something that we announced at Next. Our partners over at Microchip have come up with an 8-bit MCU that provides a hardware root of trust to securely connect over Wi-Fi to cloud IoT Core. Being able to connect an 8-bit chip securely to the cloud will change the landscape of connected devices. And lastly, I couldn't talk about Google's vision for IoT in the cloud without mentioning all the partners that we work with. As big as Google is, we won't ever have all the answers. We rely on these amazing companies to blend their technologies with our cloud functionality to create solutions that solve the world's problems one device at a time. As well as working with all these great partners, at the end of May, we announced that Google's joining the LoRa Alliance, and we're committed to working with our partner network to nurture this ecosystem together. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.